Whoa, 2,000 subs? That's insane. And awesome. That's twice the mass of a Krylophosaurus in kilograms and nearly seven times the Rohirrim Defenders at Helm's Deep. So, of course, I had to make a video that the vast majority of you super cool people would love to watch. Without further ado, here are the most extreme prehistoric animals, hopefully with some categories you haven't seen before. The biggest aquatic reptile ever is... Shonosaurus sicaniensis, known as Shostosaurus sicaniensis until 2013. This gigantic ichthyosaur was nearly 70 feet long, making it bigger than most whales, and could eat pretty much anything it came across. The title of creepiest dinosaur has got to go to Epidendrosaurus. This little guy has all the hallmarks of a walking nightmare. Matted pelage, bulging eyes and a small head, sharp teeth, and freakishly distended hands. It's what you get by crossing E.T. with a Compsognathus and an eye eye. The fastest theropod proportionally is Sinoornithoides, a 1 meter truodontid with a lower leg that is over 40% longer relative to its upper leg than an average theropod. Persons in Curie 2016 have it as the most cursorily adapted dinosaur out of more than 50 species they analyzed in the study. Good thing it wasn't big or it might be able to outrun even Struthiomimus, possibly the fastest running theropod. In 1988, Gregory S. Paul estimated Struthiomimus' top speed at 50 miles an hour, almost twice as fast as Usain Bolt. Of course, I'd rather run away than swim away from J. Coloterus, the longest arthropod ever known. A Europterid the size of a small car, J. Coloterus could rip a human apart with its spike-laden appendages and not bat an eye. Not that it would be batting an eye anyway, but still. While we're in the water, we might as well mention Spinosaurus, the longest theropod yet discovered. Fernoy and DeviantArt did an excellent GDI scaling and mass analysis of MSNMV4047 and put it at 15.06 meters long and weighing 7.5 tons, so it's still king in that respect. Speaking of king, Tyrannosaurus rex is currently the top contender for heaviest theropod. GDI analyses and LIDAR scanning placed Sue at between 8400 and 9500 kilograms. The specimen known as Trix may be even larger, but not by a huge amount. However, the jury is still not out on the final size of Carcrodontosaurus, and Jusang Tyrannus, another Tyrannosaur, may be even bigger than T-Rex. However, based on complete skeletons and consistent estimates, Tyrannosaurus is solid first. Dave Hone also wrote that a 15-meter Rex was extremely likely, which scaling from Sioux would yield 15 tons, but you can apply population statistics to any animal. 15 tons reminds me of Paleoloxodon, which holds the title for the heaviest land mammal. Move out of the way, Paraceratherium. The proboscidans are taking their spot back. And you know what? Mammals often don't get enough love in these types of videos, and Deodon might be why. The scariest mammal ever has a face that would make Satan cringe and teeth that could give Gollum's dentist nightmares. Add in the rotten flesh breath and, um, yikes. Deodon may have been terrifyingly hideous, but Arctotherium was terrifyingly huge. The South American short-faced bear may be the biggest terrestrial mammalian predator known. Big males, according to... Sabazon and Shuba 2011 weighed nearly 2 tons and were 11 feet tall standing on their hind limbs. But you know what eats mammals? Crocodiles. I mean, crocodiles eat other things too, but I need to transition. Right now, the largest crocodile morph looks to be Sarcosuchus, at 40 feet long and 8 to 10 tons, although Dinosuchus could be just as big. And you know what eats crocodiles? Snakes. Really big snakes. The biggest of which is Titanobo, at 42 feet long and just over a ton. Jason et al. 2009. And while we're grouping giant reptilian predators, here's Fasolosuchus, the largest Ryasuchian. 8 to 10 meters long, pushing 3 tons. That's a dangerous animal. You know what else is dangerous? Frieza! I mean, Hatsa... Gizzer, Katsa... Cat boots and cats and... Hatsagopteryx, which had the same wingspan as Quetzalcoatlus, but may have been more bulky, making it the largest pterosaur. The most massive cephalopod of all time is, in fact, neither a squid nor an octopus, but a 1.5-ton ammonite called Parapizosia sepinrodensis. Its uncoiled shell length may have exceeded 60 feet. Oh, we're in the water again? Then let's talk about Lidicichthys, the biggest fish ever. Listed at all 2013, right to the biggest specimen, stretched almost 17 meters from lip to tail fin. It seems that they continue to grow throughout their lifetime, so an even higher limit is reasonable. Prionosuchus was a garial-style ambush predator from the Permian. It was also the largest amphibian discovered at 30 feet long and at least a ton. Sauroposeidon looks down on everything else in this list and laughs from 59 feet in the air. At the height of a six-story building, Sauroposeidon is the tallest animal ever to live. It's practically a kaiju, but it only weighed like 65 tons, so compared to Barosaurus lentis, it's paper mache. SV Pau themselves put their largest specimen at 50 meters long and over 100 metric tons as the biggest dinosaur or prehistoric animal we have access to the bones of. Created using Powtoon.